Hello guys, and in today's video I've got my classified banshee set for this current patch. Going into the gear set with the chest piece, dogdown resilience, health and ammo capacity. And on my mask, exhaust down resistance and burn resistance. On the knee pads, I've got health, damage to leads, burn, and blade resistance. Holster, crit chance. The backpack, I've got crit damage and bleed resistance. And gloves, I've got two pairs of these. Rolled exactly the same. However, I've got SMG damage on the other pair. Just in case I want to swap out to having the house as the primary weapon or my lightweight M4. Going into the weapons, we've got talents wise on the house, deadly and responsive, and card counter. And pause the video if you want to take a look at these attachments. Extended magazine, C79 scope, flash hider, and a small grip. And on my lightweight M4, responsive, deadly, and accurate. Now, this Banshee build is good for solo play. How I've built it is for squad play. So I can take as much damage as I possibly can, be that from a lead burn, because there's, even though Prittus Mike did get its nerf, there is Firecrest players out there now. So just stacking on whatever I can get, and in some gameplay, um, I have been hit by flame turrets and the odd bleed, and I've managed to survive it. Going into the talents, that should be... No, that was right. So yeah, I've got adrenaline, com critical save, Strike back and decision that I may swap out to on the move. But this build is really fun to run around with in the dark zone. Rewarding as well, if you can get your manhunts off and you can get the banshee caches, or if you kill manhunts because of what the gear set offers itself. If uh, if you die from a rogue, you'll get an increased 20% damage for 10 minutes. And if you're chasing those players for quite a while and they just keep killing you, as soon as they get some manhunt, it's where this build does come into its own as a six piece because for each manhunt level that they are, you get an increase of 2%. Of damage against them so example being if you've got this increased 20 percent and you've got this that's 10 percent extra off the top of my head that's at least 30 percent damage that you can deal to a manhunt player and even with those buffs if you can get within 10 meters and you've then got responsive going you can dish out the damage this build is pretty damn good. I have got some gameplay to go along of getting a few kills and getting a manhunt off. In the footage in the next clip you'll see that my Banshee build against manhunts with the house does put up quite a fair bit of damage. Especially when, in, when you're with a squad it is actually a really really good build to run. Fuck 
Don't forget to drop a like, hit subscribe, and I'll do more gameplay footage like this soon. Peace.